reason is because we don't need the counter buttons. The counter buttons, uh, they're very risky because they, they tend to pound the water on the roof, so it's not recommended to use counter buttons unless you need them, okay? The counter button should be used on a, uh, a slope of about 6 and 12 and up. Not on 5 and 12, 4 and 12. You do not use counter buttons, okay? The counter button is not something that you want to use. It's a requirement. So for those people that, I, that make their comments, you know, that, oh, the counter buttons. The counter buttons they only use for uh, uh, roofs that are above uh, 5 and 12, okay? As a homeowner. Don't uh, let the uh, contractor fool you and then come to your house and uh, and and tell you, oh, you, you you need counter buttons. On this this house has been here for over 20 years, you see, and doesn't have any counter buttons. Now that the tiles have broken, have been uh, you know uh, have been uh, lift up by the wind. The only thing they use right here in this area is the wind resistant clips. Okay, this kind of clips they use it on the on the wind resistant on the first core. You see it. This is a wind clip. You put it and then you, you clip the first tile there. Uh, they try to use a, uh, they try to fix this roof before and they stop the leak for a little bit. But as I said before, some people they just come and do their Mickey Mouse work and they don't really do what they have to do. So today, me and my friend, we're going to show you how we do it. Okay, this is how we do it. Okay, the other thing when you're using when you're installing a flat roof tile, please guys, please do not use uh, aluminum flashings. Because what it happens, you see in this uh, windy area, you see right here, this is all tile, okay? So for all the tile guys that are watching this video and they wanna make their stupid comments, oh, right here in Arizona, we do a better time installation. Bullshit, excuse my language, but it's bullshit. Okay, a tile installation is the same thing. <laughs> And almost everywhere because the manufacturer only writes one ICBO. The ICBO tells you how to install the tile. Okay, so all these houses they don't have counter battens because they're less than four and they're, they're less than six and twelve. Okay, they're walkable. So the only thing the counter batten is is to hold the tile into the so it prevents the the tile from sliding off the roof. That's it. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm going to put a some silicone around the neck of the pipes right here, you see it? They're all broken. And uh, and also, like I said before, you see this, this flashing, it was lifted up by the high winds. It was 60 miles per hour or more a few days ago. And uh, the owner told me yesterday, hey, how come that thing is lifted up? I told him, oh, probably because they use aluminum flashing. See, and I'm right, this is aluminum flashing. See, it's very thin. It's very fragile, so please, the next time you use a flat tile, do not use uh, aluminum flashings because you're going to have that one. I mean, it's, it's not going to leak, but the homeowner is going to call you, you see, like this one. You see how easy you can move it? So please do not do not use aluminum uh, uh, flashing unless you, you cover it like that, but it looks ugly. You don't supposed to go like that, you see? You, you're supposed to uh, make a cut here to get rid of the, the the breeze underneath the tile otherwise they keep on climbing and then they're not gonna leak but they look like that okay guys so uh, reading for everybody and then uh, I'll keep on working and I'll take a video late, later on do when we do a maintenance this is how you're supposed to do remove the old uh, cracked uh, roof cement and then apply new silicone make sure that you use a approved silicone like Nova Link or uh, M1 it's a good one and apply new silicone to the to the pipes and then right there what we're gonna do we're gonna apply some silicone to the bottom of the uh, we trim the flashing over there because we don't want the wind to to flip it again, so this is what we do.
this is the way it's supposed to look. You see, it's very simple. See? Very simple, and then we put some uh, caulking underneath, you know, for so it'll stick with the tile. All the flashings that are exposed more than four, more than uh, four four inches, you're supposed to use uh, caulking underneath. Okay, and this is gonna be my tile repair today. Okay, guys. And this is where the water was coming through, right here. The paper is cracked, and uh, you can see the water line running down the valley and in the middle of the valley. So it's coming through there, and then it's leaking inside the house. After you install your felt, install your valley, and make sure it's straight. Then put the towels back. Okay, easy. And trust me, this little lip that you're folding is going to save you from many, many problems, okay? It's going to save you from coming back to do your own repairs. And it's going to give you a good reputation because once you do a repair, it's going to be permanent or at least for the next 20 years. And please don't, don't try to save uh, money by just applying some roof cement like these guys did. Just do it right. Remove the tile. Take your time. Apply new felt. If you're gonna do a roof maintenance, remove the old cocking, the old silicone, the old roof cement crack, and then apply a new one. It doesn't take you more than 20 minutes. Okay, guys. So please uh, encourage you to uh, do a better job. Thank you. High wind areas, uh, you're supposed to put a wind clip like this wind clip. You install your tile. This tile weights about. 10 pounds per square, I mean per square uh, foot. And then after you install the tile, you just put your wing clip like this, like this. See it? And then you put a nail here. So simple. The idea about folding this little edge is because now when you put your tile, the tile ele elevates about, you see? I can put my fingers, you know, underneath the tile and the tile is not, is not touching the, uh, the metal. So there's a gap between the tile and the metal flashing so now the water is going to run underneath you see right here it's elevated too so all the all the debris are going to end up on the on the driveway when you're doing a tile repair and you have to install a new tile use a little bit of silicone but use it on almost on top of the tile the old tile see this like, like a little bit don't put too much okay and then you just shovel the tile inside and then the weight is going to it's going to make the the tile the stick to the uh, to the old tile, okay? And the right and right here, you put more silicone like this, and then you use this tile. Like this, push it, and then this tile you have to nail it. So this tile is nailed, this tile is nailed, this one is not nailed, but it's gonna be held by this tile. And by this tile, because on both sides it has silicone. You don't have to put any silicone here, or there, or anywhere. Don't waste your time. This is the way you do it. Chapin to Gaseosa. This is a flat tile, this is an S tile. Most of it, this area it's about S tile, high profile, low profile, flat tile, all the standard weight tile. We're done. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's a big house over there in the hill. That's a nice one. Anyway, I just want to talk about tile, okay? You only use the counter battens when you have a roof that's about 6 and 12. This is 5 and 12. It's still nailable, okay, guys? 
the counter battens are a requirement not something that you want to install your roof so whenever your contractor comes to your house and tell you oh you need counter battens and I tell ask him what's the slope if he tells you five five and twelve I tell him no no way Harry Garcia told me no a uh, wood battens is uh, a requirement not something they want to install just because you want to otherwise you're gonna have problems okay I'm telling you I do a lot of repairs I do tile repairs like this you see and I make a lot of money doing more repairs on doing actual roofs anyway uh, a lot of people talk about tile you know they don't even know the system in order for you to be a tile repair guy you have to know the system okay see like this guy they left the valley opened supposedly because to prevent the water from run off the valley but still it happens the same thing so it doesn't make no difference I'll just show you this tile was open too and then uh, that's it guys uh, today thank you uh, subscribe, share, share this uh, video.